So last summer, I had the privilege to be able to spend a week with children with all different types of mental, physical, uh, physical disabilities at a camp called Camp Dream Street, a place where my job was to give them the best week of their life. Before I got there, I didn't think or expect much from this, except that it was going to be hard and a long week, and I was questioning my mom on why she would make me go to this. To add on to that, when we first got there, everyone that was on upper staff, whenever we asked them, what if a kid throws up on us or something like that, they were like, it's not a big deal. So that also, we were like, okay, then what do we do? But what they were meaning was that if a kid throws up on you, you can't react like wrongly to the kid or then you lose everything for that week and it's not going to be a fun week for you at all. So you just have to roll with it and just say it's not a big deal and just stay there and make the best of what you can. Um, you're there to help them with whatever they want. You have to roll with their problems and you help them with new stuff. One big thing that that camp wants is to help everyone become more independent. Whether it's helping that kid learn how to brush his teeth on his own, helping that kid learn how to eat on his own, anything like that, the camp wants them to become as independent as they physically and mentally can. This year, I was with a guy named Bentley. Bentley has cerebral palsy, which can go many different ways for many different kids. For him, he had no feeling in his legs, which means that he was in a wheelchair. One thing that he wanted to do was race me down the hills from where we were, from where we were sleeping to wherever the next thing was. The one thing I learned was to never win because if I won, I would end up getting hit in the back of the leg with his wheelchair. Uh, Bentley was truly one of the smartest people in the room wherever he was. He, wa he was ridiculously smart and he knew how to say just like the right things whenever whenever it was just a crowd like this he could make everyone laugh out of nowhere and it was really funny um so i was able in different ways to like communicate with him because at times if he would be uh, like get really emotional he would become unresponsive so different things like asking him to nod his head or thumbs up, thumbs down, that sort of thing. And then this just like helps you all in general become more patient, whether it is just with like a big group of people or even just with one person, just being able to be more patient and wait for them and not really worry, okay, I need to go get this done, so I'm gonna need you to like hurry up. Like you can be more patient and be able to sit there. So um, uh, this, yeah, 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 this was helpful, not only with like Dream Street, but like listening to people and stuff like that, like even within BBYO, just being able to listen to them and actually understand what they're saying. Um, another big thing for Dream Street was helping them embrace their disabilities. And with that, they become someone close to you and Bentley now feels like a little brother to me. So like when I go back to Dream Street next year and I see him, it's not gonna be anything where like, it's gonna be awkward. It's just gonna be me giving him a hug and seeing whoever his counselor is and making sure that, he, that he's good with Bentley. Um, and I promise you like 100%, like there are different types of memories, different types of emotion that you get, but at the end of that week, it's one of your best weeks you ever have. A funny memory that I have from Dream Street is the talent show. Each day after lunch, about 30 to 45 minutes, kids would sign up and do whatever they wanted. Bentley and his friend Corbin signed up to sing. Corbin's counselor was a friend of mine named Connor Rubin. Um, Connor and I have gone to camp for a while together. And so, of course, Connor and I talked a little bit, like whenever the counselors could. And Corbin and Bentley were friends, so we hung out quite a bit. During the time after they went up there and they sung, everybody clapped for them as loud as they could. Bentley and Corbin turned around to me and Connor and said that we were the best counselors they had out of the seven years they went there. During that, like Connor and I looked at each other and like we thought they were joking, but then they said it again at rest hour. We were like, okay, they seriously like thought we were the best counselors. You know, like that week we thought Connor and I thought we were like doing terrible and all of that, but like for having them say that to us, you know, it was like a big thing, like, okay, we actually, we actually, like, did something good. You know, during rest hour, 
Both me and Connor sat on the edge of the bed and Bentley and Corbin were in the middle just to make sure neither of them fell off. And there for like two hours just talking to them. You know, not thinking anything about Bentley having cerebral palsy or Corbin having a mental disability or anything like that. You know, we're just talking to them like just having a normal conversation. So what I want to leave you with from what I've talked about is do not hesitate to be with any different type of people just because they're different or anything like that, but actually talk to them because you can learn just as much from them as you can teach them. So, and I've truly seen that like throughout Dream Street and BBYO as well. We don't think about, we don't think about it too much, but like all of us are different types of Jews, you know, like some of us are from the South and then from the North and then from Europe and like we're all from different areas and we come together at things like IC and just have fun together or CLTC or anything like that. Um, so yeah, thank you all for listening. And if y'all have any questions about like Dream Street or like applying to it, uh, y'all can talk to me.